I am so happy to talk with you today and to share with you from my heart one of the Bible stories and it has to do with Christmas. And so uh, we are celebrating, we're getting ready to celebrate Jesus' birthday. And so I am so happy to be able to talk with you and hopefully you are able to hear this message. So my message is based from Luke chapter 1 verses 26 through 37. And so if you have a Bible or if your mom has a Bible or your dad, go if you could go get the Bible and be ready to listen to the to the story that I'm going to share with you. Okay. So today's Bible story is found in that first chapter of Luke. And it was an ordinary day in an ordinary town called Nazareth. An ordinary girl was all alone when something extraordinary suddenly happened to her. The angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and he spoke to her and he said, Greetings, you who are highly favored of the Lord. In other words, Gabriel was telling Mary, Hello. You are someone who is very special to God. He thinks very highly of you. Wouldn't that be awesome if you were able to see an angel and they could tell you what God thought about you? That would be so awesome. Well, Mary was totally confused and of course a little scared. So I think all of us would be a little scared if this happened to us, right? Well, Gabriel went on to tell Mary that God had chosen her to be the mother of his son. Wow, what an important job. The Holy Spirit was going to place a baby inside of Mary's womb. And she was going to give birth to the Savior of the whole world. Wow, that is an awesome responsibility. So Mary was shocked. She's like, how can this be? She asked the angel and Mary knew that she was just an ordinary girl. She wasn't a special princess in a castle somewhere. How could she give birth to the King of Kings, the savior of the world? In fact, Mary knew that she was a virgin who wasn't even married yet. And she was so confused as to how this could actually happen. This had never happened before in history that a woman would give birth to a baby and she had never had relations with a man. And so the angel said, nothing is impossible with God. Now, the power of God will cause all of this to happen to you and you will give birth to the Son of God. Now, Mary could have argued with the angel. Mary could have chosen not to believe the angel. Mary could have chosen many things at that moment, but Mary chose to believe that God was able to do the impossible. And she spoke to the angel and said, I am the Lord's servant. May everything you have said about me come true. And then the angel left. So Mary accepted this great responsibility, this great invitation that God was giving her to be the mother of his son. And she accepted it, even though it was going to be hard, it was going to be, uh, strange and unusual and the most scary thing that she could have thought of, she accepted the invitation. Can you believe how hard it must have been to for her that this was actually going to happen? And you and I would have a hard time believing that God would use us to do something so extraordinary. Well, you are going to learn in today's lesson that God uses ordinary people to do extraordinary things. And he can make the impossible possible. 
So today I want you to make a choice. There, there are so many things to choose. There's so many voices out there that are calling our names saying, do this, do that. But you have a choice to make. You have a choice whether to listen to God's voice or listen to the voices of other people that are trying to get you to do what they want you to do. But God wants you to listen to Him and to obey Him and to do exactly what He's requesting you to do. So we have to keep our ears open and our eyes open to hear God's voice and to learn from Him and to know what He wants us to do because He is always talking, He is always speaking, but sometimes we have a hard time listening because there's so many distractions, there's so many voices out there telling us we need to do this and we need to do that. But the most important voice to listen to is God's voice. Just like Mary, she listened to his voice. She obeyed the voice of God because he sent this angel to her and the angel had a message to deliver to her. So if it's an angel, great. But there, it, there are ways to hear from God without even having an experience like Mary had. You can read his word and he will speak to you through his word. You can sing songs about him and he will minister to you as you sing those songs. You can pray to him and he will speak to you as you pray. So just be open, be ready to hear God's voice because he might have something extraordinary for you to do. So just be ready to hear what he has to say to you. And he will use you for his glory, just as he used Mary to do the most awesome thing, which would be to carry his precious son in her stomach for nine months and then deliver the savior of the world to save every person on this earth if we would say yes to him. And I hope all of you have said yes to him to be your savior and the redeemer and the Lord of your life. I just want to pray blessings over you. Lord, I just pray blessings over every voice, every person that's hearing my voice, that you would bless their family, that you would bless them during this Christmas season, that they would experience your blessing, that they would hear your voice and that they would know your truth. And Lord, we just thank you for this time that we are celebrating your birthday, the day that you came to this earth and walked on this earth with your creation. Lord, we just pray blessings over every family that they would hear you and know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to me. And I am so happy to have this opportunity to share with you.